What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Might the Gathering. Let's crack this box of Ravnica Allegiance wide open. See what kind of fun things we can get out of here. All right, let's get all these packs out. And I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the old Ravnica Legion so far. What kind of decks are you guys making? Let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys are running right now. Because this set, a lot of fun, a lot of jank from what I can tell. And you guys do know, I do thoroughly enjoy my jank. Ooh, so we're starting off with the Mythic, the Ravager, Ravager Worm. Guys, I can't talk sometimes, which you know that. You know I can't speak. I don't know how to pronounce words. I think that's like 98% of my videos. It's just me mispronouncing things and then talking about how I can't speak anyway. Right, so Gate Colossus, Ooh, Rhythm of the Wild, Spirit of the Spires, and Pestilent Spirit. So, awesome one of those guys that's two pretty nice uh first two packs pretty pretty sweet pestilent spirit is pretty awesome mammoth death touch gives all your instant and sorcery spells death touch too just just seems nasty and gate nonsense Ooh, electro dominance for the rare so that's another cool card right there with a foil simic guild gate We'll say the foils in this set, I kind of feel like they look better than Guilds did. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's new and I'm looking at it right now. But, uh, I think everything just looks better. Cards feel, ooh, another Mythic, Mesmerous, <laughs> Mesmerizing, Benthid, 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 Brunhilda. Card stock feels really good, though, um... It is kind of reminding me of Dominaria a little bit. And Dominaria always had a stickiness to them that I didn't like. And these kind of feel like they just, it feels like a shark toad crab just grabbed every single card right before they packed it. So they have that, so that slight stickiness. Precognitive perception for the rare. Can we keep it moving? All right, so we got the Sphinx of New Prov, Macabre Mockery, or Macabre Mockery. I don't know why I always want to say, ooh, Stomping Ground. So there's our first shock out of the box. Hopefully many more to come. I don't know why I always want to say Macabre. 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 Macabre? Call Macabre. What are you doing, Mike? I'm calling Macabre. All right, I'll stop. I will stop. Rick's Maddie Reveler. Ooh, with a foil shimmer of possibility. That looks really cool because, like, it looks like it has little cut marks all over the ground and everything. So I really like how the foils came out in the set. And probably they didn't even do anything different from Gills. It's just me uh, opening them going, ooh, look at this. It's shiny and new. All right, so we got the Frilled Mystic. Orzhov Enforcer. Incubation, incognito, and WD of detention. <laughs> All right, so we got consecrate and consume for the first uncommon of this one. Trollbred guardian, Tin Street Dodger with the thrash and threat for the rare. And followed by the Gruel Guildgate and a Beast Token. As I spin the pack all the way around just to get it open. Alright, eyes everywhere. Junk Troller. Essence Capture. And Font of Agonies. They're just taking a bath. They're taking a bath. Someone told them not to drink the bath water and they decided, you know what? I'm going to drink that bath water. 
and that's disgusting. You don't drink the bath water. Don't drink the bath water. And it's it's a public bath too. You don't drink the bath water in a public bath. You heck, you don't even drink the bath in the water in your bath. It's just gross. It would mortify. So it's always nice to see the old mortify. Screaming shield, rumbling ruin, and absorb. Ooh, with a foil and raise foreigners. Forerunners. Forerunners. Not foreigners, but forerunners. So that's a big old 8 drop 7-7 seven, seven with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. When Angraze Forerunners enters the battlefield, other creatures you control gain plus 2, plus 2, and gain Vigilance and Trample until end of turn. So that is a pretty dope card. Really cool to see that thing in foil, too. I like the way the uh, their tusks have all that blood and just uh, flesh hanging off of them. Sunder Shaman, Gateway Sneak, Resolute Watchdog, and Growth Chamber Guardian. Oh, boy. That thing. He just... He don't look right. Don't look right at all. Alright, so we got the Shahana Wayfinder, Clamor Shaman, Fireblade Artist with Hero of Precinct 1, followed by the Foil Dagger Caster. So we got some Vignative Vampire, Smeltward Ignis, Swirling Torrent, and Tesla Tesa Karlov for the rare. Well, I guess I'm pretty happy with this box so far. Of course, you want one of them big nasty daddy Hydras. Uh, what else? Shocks. We all want shocks! <laughs> so, shocks, yes. So, two shocks out of the box. Not bad. Hopefully, we can make it <laughs> more than two. I don't really know where I was going with that one. Let's just make it like 100. 100 shocks out of one box. Speaking of that, did you guys hear about those boxes that people were uh, opening up that had, uh, what did they say? thing at the end it was like over a hundred rares of mythics like there's packs that had three four uh rares multiple mythics all kinds of craziness like i don't know about you guys but if i was opening something like that i'd probably crap myself plaza of harmony not the rare lands that we want to see but still cool you need all the cards for the gate deck Got some angels, some claws, some rams, and theater of horrors. The rare. All right, so we got the Hacrobat, Beastmaster, Ten Street Dodger with Nakia of the Old Ways. Another card that I really like. I wish your casting cost was a little bit less, just a little bit, but at the same time, that second ability, whenever uh, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produced. That's pretty nasty. So I guess you can't really complain too much, especially with, with a green mid deck. That's another thing I need to see, some incubation druids. Haven't seen any of those yet. And I'm gonna need, I need a few of those. Alright, so we got the Erythral Absolution. Absolution? Absolution. Alright, so we got the Bullrat Clan Crusher, Combine Guild Mage, Wilderness Reclamation, another nasty card, and Lumbering Battlement for the rare. And that one went straight to the ground. All right, so Frilled Mystic, Clear the Stage, Gatebreaker Ram, and Awaken the Erstwhile. 
that's another that's a card that uh i'm kind of excited to build something around that because it just seems like fun each player discards all the cards in their hand then creates that many 2-2 two -two black zombie creature tokens So we gotta light up a stage, Gyre Engineer, Orzov Enforcer, and Kaya's Wrath. With a holy crap! Freaking foil Domri Chaos Bringer case hit. Whoo! I was not prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for that at all. Oh, look at it. Now let's be honest, the art on this one. Like, we could have done more. But either way, we got a foil planeswalker in the box. That is definitely awesome. I'm just not a fan of the art. Like, here, and here, before we go on, like, like, look at this dude, right? Okay, so look at all that nastiness. I want that nastiness here. That's what I want to see, like, with all my Gruel stuff. I just want Gruel to be nasty. That's all I want to see. That's still bad. That's still awesome. I almost said words that I shouldn't say on here. Another gruel. Well, not another. We got a gruel spell breaker. Another one. All right, so we got the pose deploy. We got wall of thoughts. Sendel's mark and benthic biomancer for the rare. That's another cool card just because it's a one. One drop, one, one. Whenever one or more 1-1 uh, one, one counters are put onto them, you get to draw a card, then discard a card. So it kind of helps you cycle through your deck, and it's adapt cost it isn't bad. It's only two, so mm, it, it's a thing. Kind of wish we wouldn't see that at the rare spot, but yeah, what can you do? Is anyone actually even running like a Simic Adapt deck? Because I just don't see it. Don't see it at all. Ooh, Rakdos Showstopper. So that's the third Mythic out of the box. I think third. Either third or fourth. One of the two. All right, so Windstorm Drake, Shark to Crab, Clan Guild Mage, Ooh. and Mass Manipulation. So that's. Another cool card, <laughs> which we already saw it, but a foil spear spewer, spewer. Put that up there so we can stare at old Domri. You got a good bit of uh, foils out of it so far. Through, what, five, six, maybe? So we got the Geyer Engineer, Zoria Skyguard, Drill Bit. Kind of a, that's mm, Guardian Project, the rare. Drooper's pretty cool, just because Spectacle, this is how I kind of figured Spectacle should work. But a uh, target player reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from it, that player discards that hand. So basically, as long as they got uh, life dealt to them that turn, you play it for one. That's kind of how I figured uh, Spectacle would work. But a lot of the Spectacle cards we're seeing, you know, it's more cost just to do like an extra, ooh, Biogenic Ooze. Bringing some ooze things back. Spectacle. Oh, I like Spectacle. I just think, uh, I hope they don't stop it here. I kind of hope Watsy keeps going with it. And let's see what else we can do with it. Because I don't, I really just don't feel like it really hit its potential with this set at all. It's again a Utopian Speaker for the rare. All right, we will speed it up. Just yes, because we're about to hit that old 15 minute mark. And we still got a few more packs left. Ooh, Godless Shrine. So that makes three shocks out of the box. Three shocks and a case hit. Now, starting off with that, uh, the Ravager Worm, that's a pretty nice hit to begin with. And the Pestilent Spirit. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got the Biomancer's Familiar for the rare. Kind of a weird, weird card, but I guess it, uh, you know, it helps trying to get adapt going, but still, man, adapt. 
Uh, you guys, tell me your thoughts on the dap down in the comments. Because I just changed my mind on it, if you can. <laughs> so we got Bedeck and Bedazzle. You guys remember the Bedazzling phase? Oh my god, did you bedazzle your purse? I bedazzled my purse. Bedazzled my fanny pack. I see something shiny in the back here. We got some vampire, some Sunder Shaman, some Cult Guild Mage, another and raise forerunners with a foil gift of strength. Alright, two more packs. See if we can get one more mythic. Hopefully we can get that big nasty daddy Hydra. That's what I'm what I would like to pull. Really the only card out of the set right now that's worth a good bit, but that's because that card's nasty. I mean it really is. Alright, so not the Hydra, but Incubation Druid. We'll definitely have to see one of those guys. Incubation Druid's cool. If you guys don't know about him, he's a two-drop O2. You can add one man of any type that a land you control produce. If it has a 1-1 counter on it, you can add three mana of that type instead with the DAP 3. So basically. You can ramp like Cray Cray. Bankrupt in Blood, Enraged Ceratok, Resolute Watchdog, and not a Mythic, but ending it with Bedevil, so that's a nice hit. All right, so not a bad box at all. A couple of Shocks, Case Hit, Bedevil, Incubation Druid, a couple other really cool things. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please check out the description below for ways that you can help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate anything that you do, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.